This is a brief video showcasing the Lenovo ThinkPad T460 laptop for use in 2022 and onward. So here we have the characteristic keyboard, particular to this generation of ThinkPads, which I don't mind at all. And we also have the three-point touchpad, which is nice if you're using the track point because it's easily accessible. Um, a little bit better than the glass touchpad offered in the T540P and T440. For the CPU, we have a Intel Core i5-6300U CPU at 2.40 GHz, 2 core, 4 thread. Uh, currently, we have 8 GB of DDR3 1600 MHz RAM. Um, this is upgradable to, I believe, 32 GB. There's two DIMM slots. Um, this came with one 8 GB card, so I will likely upgrade it to 16 GB. Um, and I installed a SanDisk X300S solid state drive, 256 GB. And we have the Intel HD Graphics 520 for the integrated graphics. Here on this side of the laptop, we have input for the power adapter, USB 3.0, um, air exhaust for the fan, and USB 3.0 always on, uh, mini display port. And here we have microphone and audio input, uh, the option for a smart card reader, and 4-in-1 SD card reader, and USB 3.0, RJ45 Ethernet port, and an HDMI port. On this particular model, Windows 10 will be integrated. So when you go to install, a fresh install, it will automatically activate, or it should. And I believe uh, TPM 2.0 is integrated on this chipset, so it is technically Windows 11 ready. However, um, the sixth generation of Intel is not on the official list, but it will run Windows 11 just fine should you choose to upgrade to that. So as we see in BIOS, uh, TPM 2.0 is integrated on this chipset. So anyways, let's get on to uh, maybe how this thing performs with some games and we'll wrap it up. Alright, I've got my uh, gaming test SSD hooked up via USB and we're going to test out how well we can game on Intel UHD 520 integrated graphics. Um, first example is Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, so we're gaming at 1366 by 768 resolution and the settings are a mixture of medium to low. And right now we're averaging about 49, 50 frames per second in the menu. So let's see how it goes. So far we're averaging around 40, dipping down to 35 frames per second. 36 and but the game's still playing very smooth getting up to 40 frames per second 45 uh, yeah and this game uh, the way it's textured it still looks really good oh so um, yeah there's no problem playing this game Yeah, basically this game is totally playable, um, as, I sus as I suspected, it's no problem. You can totally have a good time playing this game all the way through or with friends. Um, if you want those higher frames per second, you could lower the quality of the graphics or play in a uh, windowed instead of full screen. But other than that, this is uh, pretty smooth, there's no hiccups, so this one is a success. Alright, so I'm trying out Dead by Daylight. I know it worked well on a quad-core i5-6500 and Intel UHD 530 integrated graphics. 
Um, so let's see how well it works on a two core, four thread um, mobile CPU and Intel UHD 520 graphics. I have windowed this game and brought it over to a 1080p monitor and well clearly I'm not playing in 1080p the resolution is set down to 70% I windowed it and put the graphics quality to low and we're idling at around 33 frames per second so I think like this that this game is going to be playable so let's just find out all right, so far we're averaging around 23, 24 frames per second. Um, I can still run around so far, and it's not like a any like huge hiccups. So let's see what happens when uh, more action comes on the screen. All right, so I've been working on this generator, and responsiveness is good. Uh, frames per second did dip down to below 20. Oh, there's the killer. Let's see what happens here. Um, anyways, the frames per second did dip down to about 18, 20. Um, but it didn't freeze the game. I was still able to uh, do skill checks. And. See, that generator just finished there and it dipped down just a couple frames per second. Overall, not too bad though. Okay, so I've been in a couple chases, uh, having multiple people on the screen. Uh, we're playing online using an Xbox controller. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna mark this game as playable. And it turns out that it's pretty well optimized. If you're okay, if you got nothing else, and you're okay with playing on a small windowed screen like this, and you remember to put on your glasses, uh, it's playable. So, I'd call it a success. So another game that I wanted to try that I know is pretty well optimized to run on many different systems is Tomb Raider 2013. So I have a 1366 by 768 resolution, which is the um, native to this display. And um, graphics settings are set to low, V-Sync on at 60 hertz. I don't think we'll get up to 60 frames per second anyway, but that's okay, we don't really need to. Right now we're balancing between 40 to 30 into the 20s for frames per second, but that's okay. As you can see, this game plays super well, even when there's a lot happening on the screen. And I know I've demonstrated this before on like Intel HD 530, Intel HD 4400, uh, 4600, and so far it's working just fine on Intel UHD 520. So I'll play it for a little bit and we'll. See what happens when I get into combat. All right, so combat's totally fine. And yeah, uh, this game is totally playable. So you can check this off the list. Now I'm not gonna test any other games just because uh, we've tested a little more demanding games like Tomb Raider 2013 and Dead by Daylight. Um, clearly games on Left 4 Dead 2's level work just fine, and anything below that or around within the realm of those games, I think it's just safe to say that you can play them, so maybe just hit me up in the comments and uh, 
let me know and maybe you've tested out a game or maybe I have on a different laptop or something like that. So hopefully this video helps you decide if the ThinkPad T460 is a good fit for you. I think it's uh, perfectly fine for all general tasks and a variety of different workloads. And as you saw, a little bit of gaming too. If you are currently using one, I'd love to hear about how it's working for you. And otherwise, if you have any other questions that are a little more technical, feel free to leave them in the comments and I very likely will answer them or we'll find out together. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.